everyone, it's Taylor here. Today I'm going to share with you how I created this cute Z Fold card using several products from Tailored Expressions. We'll be starting with the Hot Flash Grumplings and Coordinating Dies, along with the On a Limb Branches and Leaves, the Stitched Cloud Duo, and the Here Comes the Sun stencil. I'll also be doing some blender brushing, so I have my blender brushes along with several colors of ink, candy corn and pineapple for the sun rays, cookie monster for the clouds, toffee for the branch, and oreo for my image and sentiment stamping. I'll be using drip drops embellishments applied with my embelly jelly pick and place tool. I also have my adhesive pickup square to erase some adhesive left behind with my pixie spray. I'll be using Copic markers to color the image, my small sidekick die cutting machine, and adhesive foam squares. So let's get started. I'm going to start by stamping and coloring my image. I chose the bird image and I'm setting that up with my Misty, stamping in Oreo ink onto our Copic compatible sugar cube cardstock. I've chosen a variety of yellow and orange Copic markers, starting with the lightest of the yellow shades to fill in the entire body of the bird, and then using the darker yellow to shade. I'll also fill in my orange accents using two different colors in order to get more dimension with that light to dark shaded effect. Once my coloring is finished, I need to trim down my paper size in order to fit this through my small sidekick machine. So I'm using scotch removable tape to hold the die down while I send it through the die cut machine. Once the image is die cut, we can set that piece aside and begin on the card base. I'm cutting an eight and a half by 11 sheet in half and then scoring down the center at four and a quarter. Once that's finished, get a nice crease and then you can open it up and score again on that small dot halfway down the front of your card base. Then you're going to flip that back so that you have a Z fold opening. Now we're going to stencil over the front of our card. I need pixie spray in order to hold this down because of that extra dimension with the flap. And so I've added that pixie spray along with purple tape around the edges to keep that in place on the entire card front. I'm starting with the lighter pineapple ink and shading across the entire stencil with that color. And then I'll come in with the darker candy corn color and use that right around the center of those sun rays to create some extra dimension. Now you can see when I take that off what that looks like when you open the Z fold and you have a white space on the inside. I'm also using my adhesive square remover to get off any excess residue left behind by the pixie spray. Now I'm going to die cut some additional pieces. I have on a limb leaves die cut from lime zest cardstock and the on a limb branch from toffee cardstock. I'll be adding some toffee ink with my blender brush for extra dimension and using a YG 17 Copic to add some dimension to the leaves by flicking across the edge. I'll be adhering the branch at the bottom right of the card and then arranging my leaves in place. Once I find where I want to put them, I put my adhesive down and then use my Embelly Jelly Pick and Place tool to pick up the small cardstock pieces and place them over my adhesive. The bird image is going to be popped up using foam tape squares over the top of the branch. And then I will set up the sentiment in the Misty so that it stamps on the inside of my Z fold. I'm using the Welp No More Eggs From Me, which is perfect for this cute bird image. I'm stamping the sentiment in Oreo ink with the Misty, and then you can see what the card looks like when you open it from the outside to the inside. I wanted to add a little bit more sparkle to the sun rays, so I added adhesive on the center of the sun rays along with drip drops, a large one in the center, and smaller ones all the way around the outside. And my last step will be to add some clouds to the design. So I have cut those from saltwater taffy cardstock and I'm blending them with Cookie Monster ink for a little extra dimension. And then I will adhere those to my project using both foam tape for the one on the front and just straight to the card for the other two. It was fun to try something a little different with a Z fold card and I hope you're feeling inspired to give it a try yourself. You can find all of these products at the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com. 